Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you how I got these cute box. I'm not even going to say box braid because I use the triangle parting method. But the method I'm going to be using is the um, rubber band method to get these cute individuals. And if you would like to see how I did this and got the accessories, then please just keep on watching. I do want to let you guys know that this video is pretty old, but I had some technical difficulties, so that is why I'm just now posting it. To achieve this look, I will be using my Eco Styler Argon Oil Gel. As always, this is like my go-to. Um, I'm going to be using some black rubber bands. Sorry to the people who are super, super into their natural remedies. A brush and a comb. And then here I'm just showing you I have already sectioned off my first couple and got started on them. I did them in ponytails like this and twisted them because it's so, so much more easier than just leaving them loose. So much easier to work with. So now I'm just figuring out how I want my parting space. I ended up going with the triangle parting. Some people like the square, but I really do like how the triangle parting looked for me if you don't want to twist the hair after putting it in the rubber band that is perfectly fine this is just a preference because you're going to be taking them out right before you start braiding them down anyways so here i'm just gonna you know get my ponytail all nice and sleek because you want them edges to be laid and slayed and i'm gonna take some of my eco styler and i'm gonna put that all around my edges and then I'm going to be using my toothbrush, my handy dandy toothbrush as always, to lay my edges down. Once I get those edges laid and slayed, honey, I'm going to take my black rubber band and put that hair into a nice ponytail. Not too tight though because this hairstyle will be staying in my head for a couple of weeks. So I don't want it to be too tight and unbearable. It will look perfectly fine even if it's not tight. And then next, I'm just going to twist that hair down. Like I said, you don't have to do the twist. The twists are just easier for me in order to keep my poofy hair out of the way. And here, you can just watch the whole process of me twisting the hair. Of course, I sped it up. I only showed you me doing about three or maybe even two of them. I am getting closer to the end and then boom, finally, finally. So now I'm just showing you I already braided the whole back half of my hair and then this is the hair that I am using. You can use any type of braiding hair you would like. Connect along is a good type also and then I'm going to use scissors to cut the hair in half because I do not want it to be super long. And here you see me pulling the ends because I don't want it to be like super blunt on the end of my braids. I want it to be like uneven that way the hair will not unravel this trick really really do help your hair not to come back loose and i got my eco styler again because i am going to be putting that on my hair my hair is like super frizzy kind of because it's like poofy it's natural so i have to put that on there to tame my hair kind of and now i'm just showing you how i loop the hair to get ready to start plaiting it um, I'm not really an expert at plaiting hair, so I can't really <laughs> teach you how to do it, but this is how I loop mine, because I know everybody loop theirs differently when they're doing their plaits. And I'm sorry for keep calling them like braids, but they're technically considered plaits. Like braids and cornrows are more of like flat down to the scalp. So yeah, I'm just going to start plaiting that hair all the way down. Once I get down to the end end of the hair, um, I'm going to take a lighter and I'm going to kind of like run it across my hair to get rid of some of those like frayed edges. But only run it across the weave. Do not run a lighter across your real hair. That is like a big no-no because -no. you will catch your hair on fire and you will be out here looking bald as heck and you will need a fire department. I'm just being dramatic. I don't know fully what's going to happen because I never caught my real hair on fire when I've heard bad things about that. Just any little basic lighter. I think I pay like $1 for this lighter. And I pay like 2 or $3 for one pack of hair. I only use about two packs of hair on my head. Maybe even less than that. I actually think it was one and a half packs of hair. And then now I'm just finishing out 
the plaits. Like, it's pretty easy. The rubber band method is way more simpler than not using any rubber band. It's just parting your hair and plaiting it. It worked out for me, so hopefully it worked out for you guys if you try it. If you have any questions, of course, you can, you know, comment them down below. Like I said, this video will, has been pre previously recorded for a while. It had like some technical difficulties where it did not want to save to my computer. As you can see, I'm in my old house and everything recording this video. And I'm just scrolling through my files. And I was like, I really wanted to get this video up. So I've been like playing around my computer and I finally got it together on iMovie. And it's finally working. So I'm going to try to save it this time. And of course, if you're watching this video, you'll know it worked. So I'm finally down to the last two finally down to the last two and then of course i didn't show you the second to last one but i am showing you me doing the last one you know just kind of showing me like finishing the race basically because um this hairstyle took me about maybe two hours honestly i don't have the exact time because when i'm doing my hair at home i make sure i have plenty of time to chill around take a break eat and do whatever i want to do so i mean that's the good part about doing your own hair like you are on your own time, but the bad part is like them arms is going to be hurting, honey. But I'm almost finished, and then I'm going to take some really hot boiled water into a little bowl, any bowl, it doesn't matter, and put the ends in there to kind of get the ends sealed off and straight, super straight at the end. So that is why I use the hot water. It's kind of like loosening up the hair, you know, getting it all loose and, you know, wiggly. And then I just have a regular towel and I'm kind of pulling that hair, putting some tension on that hair and patting it dry. You can use a shirt towel. It don't matter. It's weaves. But on my real hair, I usually use a t-shirt or a towel that's specifically made for drying natural hair. Next, after I finish, I'm going to take some wrapping foam and I'm going to put that all over my head. This is going to help me with all of the flyaways. It's kind of like sealing the deal for me. Like, seals everything in, get them flyaways gone, laid, and kind of help it blend in with my natural hair way more. And the, he, here are the accessories that I am using. Um, I bought some string, some of the little um, braid, the plait accessories. And then I bought these little jewels with some shells on it. So I just tied the string around my braid and then I'm just wrapping it. You can wrap it in any style you want. This I wanted to do the crisscross method. You can do like the swirl, however you want it to be. But this is how I wanted it and this is how I liked it. So yeah, I'm just going to put that string on that braid and I'm going to tie it at the end. Once I finish tying it, I am going to cut off the extra string that I have left over on it. And then next I'm just adding my other piece of accessory. I'm just folding the end of that hair and sticking my weave through it and just pulling it up it has a little seashell on it it's so cute i think that's called a seashell or maybe it's just maybe it's just a regular shell that's like the shells that they used to use on like marley twist and stuff like that and these are just little round ring looking things i don't know it reminds me of a little nose ring that is pretty much the finished look i really love how it looks and yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up That is pretty much it for this video. Um, I really do love how it turned out. It's very simple. I didn't want it to be too long. That's why I cut the hair in half. And I didn't want it to be heavy because I'm very picky about my hair since I went like natural. So I wanted something that I was going to be okay with keeping. 
in and not get irritated with it all itchy down my back but yeah i like how it turned out and it's really nice it's cute i like these accessories also but anyways don't forget to follow me on all my social medias down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and of course as always subscribe before you leave and i will see you guys in my next video